today we're going to make an analog clock. So first you go and search for an analog clock. Analog clock without hands actually. And go and pick one of those these images. Alright, now that you are done, you go here, click on upload backdrop and upload the image. So now you create three sprites, hour, minute and second, with each sprite slightly longer than the previous one. So now we start by coding the hour. When the green flag is clicked, go to X0, Y0. Oh, just a reminder, make sure that this left side of each of each hand is over here at the center. Forever. Set and go to current hour minus 30. I mean times 30. Change angle by current minute divide by 2. Point in direction and go. At first you might ask, why don't we just do point in direction current hour times 30. Let's try it out. Right now the time is 12.53 and, and the hour hand should be pointing here. What this does is this. So first it says the angle to the current hour times 30. However, due to mathematics, it's fi I figured out that Every time a minute passes, the angle will change by half a degree. Now we go to minute. When the green flag is clicked, go to X0, Y0, forever point in direction, current minute times 6. This is because that, that the minute hand moves at 6 at 6 degrees per minute, and the second hand moves at 6, second, six degrees per second. Let's try it out. However, the minute hand will jump. So, you'll get what I mean in half a minute. Less than half a minute has passed. And you can watch this minute hand closely. See, the minute hand just moves, jumps. We'll fix this by making... Okay. Our minute hand has an angle too. Oh, okay. So, just informing you, make sure that this angle is actually... It's actually a variable for the hour spread, only for the hour spread. So make sure you click this for this spread only button. All right, now set and go to this. Change and go by. Current second. Oops. Current second times divide ten. And now we point in direction and go. Let's try this out. As you can see, if you look closely, the minute hand is slowly moving. This is the end of this tutorial.